Hey everyone, uh, this is Jeb. Uh, Adventure 4, I am coming to an end of it. Actually, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, right now, I have both heroes. Thorgrim has 1 HP. Emerald has 2 HP left. They have no, uh, what is it, daily powers or, uh, what's the other thing, utility powers. Emerald had uh, leveled up a while ago, and that's kind of saved him. Uh, Thorgrim has 7 items, and Emerald has 4, so that brings us to 11. If you look on the board, uh, they are both right here. That's the starting tile, so they just got to get there. But we're 1 item short, and that's where this guy comes into play. Uh, it's a gargoyle that's just been sitting there for a long time. And I am hoping uh, to hit, to kill him and get that last item so I can escape. Because right now things are not looking good. Uh, Thorgrim just ended his turn. Uh, let's see. He ended his turn next to, to Emerald, healing him one. So now there's, oh, by the way, the sun set, so I have to do an encounter. Uh, at the beginning of every villain phase. Uh, this first one, because I did not explore a tile, I had to draw another one, so that's two that I have to do a turn if I don't flip over a tile. So the, the first one's in an event attack. Uh, attack each hero on the active hero's tile. It's going to do two damage if it hits, so I'm just going to negate that right now, because uh, I don't want to deal with that. That's going to kill me. Oh, shit. Uh, and then now I have the alarm. Uh, the alarm is a trap that I believe calls in uh, monsters. Place a new monster on the unexplored edge that is closest to the alarm marker. So we will put the alarm marker here. because That's where the guys are. I'm going to zoom in just because... That should be good enough uh, for you guys to see that. Uh, so the alarm marker is there. Now I have to trigger it. Why am I rolling? That's so dumb of me. Uh, trigger the trap. During your villain phase, place a new monster on the unexplored edge. It is going to be a skeleton. The unexplored edge that is closest to the alarm. Uh, closest unexplored edge is going to be back here. That's the skeleton. Uh, so he is going to. Ooh. He moves and slices. This could be game. Uh, well, I place the monster. I guess I'll place that there to be fair. Alright, so he moves there. Alright, I will have. The skeleton attack Thorgrim, and it is a one. Um, all right, so it misses. So it is now Emerald's turn. He is going to let's see. Let's have him magic missile. It's going to be a plus eight modifier. It's going to magic missile the skeleton. Twelve and eight is twenty, so it kills it. And we got a fireball of necklaces, or a necklace of fireballs. Fireball and necklace. Oh boy. Alright, so skeleton's dead, got the treasure. That makes 12. So, uh, how does this work? Uh, reading the book. A hero that ends his or her hero phase on the start tile can escape from the dungeon. Uh, right, so I'm assuming this is the start tile, because it is split, so he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and he's going to end his turn, so he's out of the dungeon. Emerald has left. Um, that hero does continue to activate monsters and traps. No, that hero... Mm, That hero can't re-enter the dungeon, no longer takes a hero or exploration phase. That hero does continue to activate 
monsters and traps. So I guess he only reveals one encounter. If there are no monsters in play, discard this. It's Cowardly Flight. Draw a tile from the bottom of the dungeon tile stack and place it adjacent to an unexplored edge that is closest to the active hero. Place the monster closest to that. Place the monster closest to that active hero on that tile. I don't want to deal with this. I have five experience left, so I'm going to negate it. So that comes back to Thorgrim, and he's got one, two, three, four, five movement to end his turn, and he's out. Awesome. All right, that's the the end of the scenario. This thing has been so painful. Um, I, yeah. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, online people are saying it's difficult. Uh, the difficulty shoots up at Adventure 4 out of 13. So, uh, yeah, I, I've learned that I should just not always explore. Uh, I was taking my time this time around uh, and just picking off the monsters. I only had ever had one or two on the board. That's how I was able to get through most of it. Uh, I got super lucky with some of the encounters. Uh, they would they would like teleport me to the other side of the dungeon and things like that, and that saved me in some tight spots. Uh, Emerald had no luck, always running up against the uh, what are they gargoyles, and those things just kill him so bad. Uh, but yeah, so it's done. Uh, let's see. The next few videos that should come up are going to be with me and Mickey, and then I will start up on Adventure 5. Alright, have a good one guys.